While the add mode works great for adding light to a scene as you saw in the previous example, it sometimes have a tendency to oversaturate or blow out details in the image. Uh, and that's where the screen mode comes into play and can help out with these situations. Uh, in this example that I am running here, we have a, uh, multiple layers of images moving across and there are a couple of clouds and some other objects and they're running as you see in multiple layers behind each other. Uh, as a matter of fact, this is not really what it uh, appears to be as the uh, blue background is just a gradient, a blue gradient here, and the clouds are separate elements added on top of the background. Now, the clouds were simply photographed on, this, on the blue sky and then the, the blue sky was turned into black, which is a fairly simple operation to do in Photoshop. So if we would open up the uh, queue that controls this cloud here, uh, let's just move forward a little bit so we get it centered on the screen. If I open up this queue here, and set the uh, blend mode to normal, you can see that that is indeed the case. It has a black background and uh, the clouds are just uh, knocked out from, from the black background by turning the original blue sky into black. Uh, now, if I would uh, use the add mode to uh, uh, add these clouds to the, uh, to the blue background, which I could do, you can see that it gets kind of a blue uh, tint to it because it's getting added to the blue that is behind. And also it tends to oversaturate or blow out the, uh, the result here. Uh, and then you actually get a much uh, softer and nicer result by using the screen mode, which doesn't result in that kind of oversaturated or blown out effect. So that's a great way to distinguish when to use the add mode and when to use the screen mode.